Thank you for joining us. I'm Alicia von Eschwillet. Durham will host its first Relay for Life on June 20th. Destination caught up with Emily Sokol, founder of the Durham Middlefield Relay for Life. It was an event at Boston College that first impressed her as she decided to bring Relay to Durham. I went and fell in love with it the second that I got there. Um, I thought it was amazing that the, we were able to see, you know, the service groups on campus and the acapella groups and the dance groups and the sports teams all come together and have what BC brags is the largest non-sporting event of the year. And to me that was just the coolest thing to see, first of all, how many people are affected by cancer and how close to home it is for so many people and yet how we're all, so many very different people are able to come together and have a great time and to celebrate life and instill hope and it was a great evening and I fell in love with it. This was a significant time in Emily's life as her mother Debbie was diagnosed with breast cancer three months earlier. So it also really hit home for me and was amazing to see the support that I personally was getting from everyone. Impressed by the outpouring of support she received at college, Emily contacted the American Cancer Society. This was something that our community needed. If a group of 9,000 undergraduate students was able to come together like this, then what could a town like Durham and Middlefield do? Trying to get Relay for Life to our small community took some convincing. When our Relay sponsor came to the first committee meeting, she was trying to convince us, you know, if you all want to volunteer for this great cause, why don't you visit the neighboring one? So it took some convincing of her to say, you know, look at Look at the community that we have. Look at what we're able to do. We believe in us, you know, we need you to jump on board with us and give us the go ahead. And very quickly she was able to see what a strong community we have and ended up saying, let's go for it. Now Durham will hold its first Relay for Life event at the Durham Fairgrounds on June 20th. We're doing what's called a mini relay, so it's only six hours long. But the idea is that you're on a team and a member of your team is supposed to be walking around the track at all times. It's meant to stand in solidarity with the man who first started Relay for Life in 1985. He walked around a track for 24 hours um, to raise money and awareness for cancer and then it grew into what it is today. While Relay will have fun family activities, its true purpose is to honor those that are battling, fought, or have passed from cancer. Relay pays tribute to them through the Luminaria ceremony. It shows you what Relay is all about. And you know, it's about this celebration, but it's not easy. The battle isn't easy and you know, we're still finding it. We're still trying to find a cure and so many people out there are still fighting it. Durham Middlefield Relay for Life has already raised over $40,000. Emily says she hopes Durham's effort helps to find a cure. I think we needed something like this. We needed something to bring joy. We needed something to celebrate the lives that we've lost and the lives that are still fighting. For more information about the June 20th event, Durham Middle Field Relay for Life, please visit our Facebook page. I'm Alicia Fonash-Willette for Destination Durham.